Hey everyone, this is Rajendran here. Now, in this video, we're going to learn about something very interesting about a, a trading agent, a simple trading agent. Means in a very simple terms, what if I can able to talk to my own uh, trading account uh, where I can give instructions in uh, natural language. So that is what uh, we're going to learn about that, how to do using Open Algo. So we're going to explore two different concepts. One is MCP and another one is an uh, trading agent. So we're going to use uh, Agno AGI for that. This inspiration, uh, I had taken it from uh, Amit Vani, so who recently published uh, an AI agent for uh, Zerodha using, he had done it for Kite account, but uh, I thought like, why not we can extend the same thing for Open Algo. So we had done uh, already uh, MCP implementation with uh, Open Algo. So we also released a video sometime back, but what we haven't done is like, we haven't done a full fledged uh, context, like uh, trying to fetch the order book, trade book, position book, placing the order, placing in basket order. So a lot of complex stuff we haven't done with that, but with Amit Vani's uh, inspiration, uh, we had built this uh, open uh, algo MCP, right? So complete the open algo MCP is already available open source under uh, Apache 2.0 license. And uh, yeah, so you can also get this uh, uh, zero the MCP as well. Maybe if you are a zero the user, uh, go and try out with Amit Vani's uh, uh, code on uh, zero the mcp client so he also released a video as well so he also explained how the mcp works he also implemented for google adk as well but in my case i had done it only with respect to agno agi so we had used an agno agi framework to design the uh, model so the trading uh, agent so let me show you how it works so before getting into the diagrams i'll try to show you the demo here so first i'm going to start with open algo server so i'm going to start with the open algo server and then I'll go and start the MCP server. And after starting the MCP server, I'm also starting the MCP client as well, right? So you can see that the MCP client has been started. And right now it is using open AI ChatGPT's uh, GPT-40 model as a backend LLM. So any query that I'm gonna send in the chat, so it is, I'm gonna get a response from the LLMs, LLMs are going to do the interpretation and Agno AGI is going to be the middleman, which is going to uh, translate my queries into executions. So let's say I'm going to ask like, um, hi, who are you? Right. So the assistant is going to come up with an uh, answer. So it's going to come up with an answer stating that, uh, hey, hello, I'm, I'm uh, open algo trading assistant. I'm here to help you manage your trading accounts. So I can ask any natural question. Let's say I want to get some funds, fund details about my account. So get the fund details. So I can ask queries in a natural language. In the back end, it will be executed as an, uh, all these data, what you're seeing over here, uh, we, it's getting the data directly from the open algo. So the Agno AGI and the LLMs and these MCP servers are doing the heavy lifting in the back end. So now I can also ask a natural question like uh, get the codes of uh, State Bank of India. I can get something like that, right? It should be getting the codes of uh, State Bank of India instantly. And I can also uh, get something like multiple codes also I'll be able to get, get the codes of uh, let's say SBIN and TCS, maybe I can put some command, say like I want to get some reliance as well in a table format. Now I can also ask in a table format as well. And these assistants are really intelligent in bringing those details in a table format. So the query is very natural and the agent is doing all the heavy lifting. Agent knows exactly uh, what you are asking for. Let's say I want to place an order. So I'm going to say like uh, place uh, order in uh, let's say like uh, S bank. Uh, maybe uh, 10 shares in MAS. So I can say what, uh, where the order has to place. So by default, I had connected with NSE. You can also specify the exchange also. If you want a different exchange, you can also uh, send a different exchange as well. And you can also retrieve the position book, order book, trader book. Let's say I want to get the position book. So get the position book, but probably I want in a table format. So you can specify what format you want. You will be end up getting in that similar uh, format, right? So you see that it's getting those uh, details over here. So right now uh, we are having uh, 10 shares of uh, S-Bank is there and TCS, there are, currently there are no open positions. Let, let's say I want to buy, uh, let's say like uh, 10 shares in, uh, 10 shares in NHPC and five shares in uh, 
let's say uh, something like uh, uh, zeal in MAS each. So MAS is what I'm, I want. So I want to send simultaneously two orders is what I want to send up. So I want 10 shares in NSBC and uh, five shares in zeal is what I want to execute. So it's giving me the order execution and also it gives me the order ID as a confirmation as well. So now if I want to, again, let's say I want to get the position book, I, I can go back and get the position book. So any uh, functions which are supported by Open Algo APIs, everything can be accessible via these MCP servers. And now you can, the exact execution, you can see it in your uh, Open Algo as well. So what are the orders that you had placed, everything has been tracked in your uh, trading account. And not only that, uh, now let's go back to the diagram here. So what is happening in the screens behind the screens is like the user is entering the prompt and uh, the trader agent has some policy instructions and this trader agent has some behavioral point of view, uh, which uh, has access to the tools. So various tools. So the, when I say tools, the place order is a tool, getting an order book is a tool. So likewise, it has access to all the tools. So the trader agent exactly knows when to trigger a tool based upon the prompt. Let's say if the user is talking about uh, he wants uh, to place order, so the trader agent will trigger the uh, tool related to the uh, place order function, which is there in the MCP server. The MCP server will uh, send the details. It, it, it receives the quantity. It receives the uh, order type in market order or MS order or an NRML order. So then it sends the order to OpenAlgo. OpenAlgo will execute it using the OpenAlgo API and it will be sending it to the broker and broker will be sending it to the exchange. So that's how the behind the scenes it happens. So the MCP client and MCP server generally we use as a connectivity layer to interact in a natural language and this trader agent we built using Agno AGI. So why Agno AGI is like a, uh, like how OpenAlgo supports 20 plus brokers, right? 20 plus brokers OpenAlgo supports and uh, OpenAlgo is completely broker agnostic, right? Broker Al uh, OpenAlgo is completely broker agnostic means the API remains the same for all the brokers and uh, you can uh, build for one broker and you can replicate for any other broker. The same thing goes with uh, Agno AGA as well. So right now today you might be using uh, open AI. So tomorrow you want to change the model, LLM models. Let's say you want to use Google Gemini or maybe you want to use Grok models or you want to use uh, Llama, uh, Llama 4 kind of models or DeepSeek kind of models. Now this Agno AJ supports 20 plus uh, LLMs. So you can just kind of on plug and play, you just change the LLMs, you can change the models, which are the model that you like, you can integrate it and then uh, you can uh, talk to that. Even you can integrate with your local models using Olama as well. So that is the beauty with Agno AGI itself. That's the reason, uh, and it's also completely open source. So that's one of the primary reason why we are using Agno AGI. So what OpenAlgo is solving for the brokers, Agno AGI is solving for the agents, right? So in a uh, pretty agnostic way. So they are like LLM agnostic. So they are like LLM agnostic. All right, so we come to the end of the session here. So of course you would have learned what a trading agent is all about and how I, Agno AGI and MCP is helping in uh, building an interactive trading agent. So in the next video, we'll come up with more interactive uh, learnings. So until then, stay tuned. Thank you, bye-bye.